I think the market got a little bit of a jolt. Obviously, a new COVID strain, which apparently has been floating around New York longer than we knew about, but it's out there. Do you think that Omicron is going to be the sort of the defining mover of the stock market for the next few months as we get through winter in the Northeast? Good morning, Brian. Thank you very much for having me this morning. I was a little shocked by your observation that December tends to be the last month of the year. I think that's important to keep in perspective. Shocking. I like that. Uh, it's shocking, yeah. Uh, look, yeah, uh, look, Omicron's in the headlines, but I think what we're, we might be missing here is how well the market is digesting new COVID news. Now, sadly, over the years, Brian, we've seen events of terrorism around the world almost brushed off by markets as markets understand how to interpret this data, compute it. Markets are nothing more than pricing machines. They are dispassionate in what they do. And the new COVID news, the new COVID surges, variant D, Omicron, so far, as long as they stay within certain rails, markets initially react and say, okay, the reopening stocks, they're gonna trade off, right? The hospitality industry, they go down on a new surge. And then when we put it in perspective, they start to come back. We saw technology surge, right? Those are the stay at home stocks. My point here is that the market is yeah. adjusting to COVID. And, and I think that that's a positive thing. And so when we begin to adjust, then you begin to look at the market. What's going on with the economy? I think we're gonna have a very strong jobs number this morning. And I think that you're going to see the Fed continue on its path to removing accommodation. And I think it's the right thing to do. So I'm basically I'm yeah. feeling fairly optimistic, but I think there's volatilities with us. I don't know if you caught it. We did it two days ago here on WEX. We did it last night on Fast Money. And it was pretty remarkable, Mike. I, I, I showed how when the Delta variant news hit on May 7th, between May 7th and May 12th, yes. the S&P 500 fell 4.8%. Going into yesterday morning, from when the Omicron news hit, the S&P was down 4.8%. Whether that is just some random, dumb number or the market playbook, either way, to your point, the market has kind of learned to deal with this because there's probably going to be another one or a number of other strains after Omicron. Probably. R right. I, I think that's right. And yeah, so I we kind of got to get, as investors, we got to get used to it. It stinks. It's terrible. We don't want to deal with it. We'd like it's, it to go away. But as investors, we're going to have to deal with this. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to fold up tent and just go away here, right? And I mean, the, the, I think the big point underlying all of this is how much money the consumer has. The U.S. economy is based on the consumer. The consumer is flush with cash. The consumer is spending money. Over $4.5 trillion sitting in money market funds right now. These dips are being bought. And by the way, earnings season was good. This is not just all on higher PE multiples. We're actually seeing earnings and fundamentals drive these higher prices. So yes, the volatility is probably gonna stay with us, but I think that this market continues to move higher over time.